Hey folks, welcome back in Clutch here. We're on Autumn Oaks. This is the brand new K-Sims Kubota Farm. Brand new Kubota Farm. We've got a brand new cattle dairy setting up right here. I got a lot to show you. we got some farming to do. Things are ready to rock. We are good to go. Let's get to work, guys. Bitter pattern. <laughs> Welcome back in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Guys, we are setting up a brand new farm. We just got a brand new piece of property here out on Autumn Oaks. And, uh, well, it's it's going to be a massive dairy. Well, not a massive. It's going to be a good-sized dairy farm, though. Just, just pulling up on the left there. there. There she is. That's Look at that. Isn't that a great-looking piece of property there? Uh, so the farmlands themselves, you can see, need some work. They're a little dated. They they haven't been... There's no crops been taken off the last few years. But, man, what a nice-looking farm up on the hillside there. This is great-looking. So before we before we moved in, we had well we had a whole dairy production area built up. We have no cattle really yet. Uh, we're still setting all this up. It's it's gonna take a little bit of work. We got a lot of work ahead of us. You know what? Let me just pull on in. I, I promised today we'd get well we need to get those fields taken care of. That's really what we got to get get done here because we're a little behind the eight ball on that stuff, guys. I mean I want to get the fields kind of planted before we start moving cattle in. Now this here whole building this is all brand new. Uh, we got a brand new shop right there. The house is the original. There's some bins there that have been here, but this this whole complex right here, this is all brand new. This whole new dairy. We got some shops that were older. There's another the, the cattle farm on the side here on the uh, I guess it's the eastern side. It's it was original, but this here whole complex is all brand spanking new. But you, you know you know you move down the side here and down into this field. This was the original farm originally, and we've just decided to update and upgrade. Now I don't know what they did beforehand, but uh, we'll be doing it's all dairy. It's gonna be all dairy all the time. Somebody sold him on the idea. You ought to move to the country and become a dairy farmer. Yeah, see, look at that big open pasture right there. We'll be using this at some point, but uh, not quite there as of yet. We've just got all the field land just down to the side there, of course, all these buildings here. But the big thing, of course, look at that dairy. Oh, that turned out so well. I mean, guys, look inside this here. You know what? We could open this up. A little fresh air inside here, like top of the line. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good, guys. This is all brand spanking new. Top of the line. Oh, you, you know what? Lots of milk going to be coming in here. Milk money. But before we get get to the moo-moos, um, we need to, to get some land. We need to work on some land. And like I said, guys, this is well, it's, it, it's a Kubota dealer out here. So you know what? I promised I'd buy them. I even painted my truck orange just for that. Yeah, no no Star King. It's it's Kubota King. It's, we're the Kubota King now. And we've got a few models in here. We've got, oh, even, even a combine. <laughs> Now, of course, it's smaller equipment. I mean, most of the stuff we're going to be running is pretty on. The, it's pretty small, but that's okay. We don't have big fields. It's not going to be massive fields for the time being. Um, you can see most of them actually are well, right there. We have one that's already cultivated. The big field's cultivated, but a lot of these fields are smaller. They're just going to be enough to get us by on some things. So, to be honest, let's get in there. We're going to start. We're going to start tearing it up right now. Um, I've got stuff set up already, good to go. We came out here yesterday. Things are set and ready to rock. We just need to to get out there. So we got, I can't remember what the model name was of these Kubotas. Let me, let me see here. An MS-111, the 111. Okay, we've got two of these. We also have some 6060s down here. And a 3111, I believe, is a small one down here. The, the open cab, more for, like, moving some stuff around. The 6060s, once again, another smaller size tractor. We do have the one big, I think it's an L6. That is the biggest one we're running. But anyways, I digress. Let's, let's hop on in. Now, these are super maneuverable little tractors, of course. But, um... They're a little lacking, lacking the horsepower department. So uh, we're gonna have to make do with what we got for the, for a while here. We'll see how this works out. But uh, I mean, nothing. We're not running big equipment for the most part. Like I said, this little, well, this little cultivator we got here, this little rotor tiller, basically. Um, it, it's nothing crazy big. It's so small and light. So we'll see. This is still a little low on the horsepower for it. We'll see how she handles it. Raise her on up. That looks good. All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's get into these fields. You know what? Let's go around this side here and backing around. Oh, she's a little light in the front end. I'm noticing already. You can just see, like, I'm, I'm steering, but she's she's not grabbing too much yet. Ah, that's okay. We'll be It'll be fine. So we do have one tractor that's a little bit bigger. I've got plans, actually. I'm not telling you what my plans are. i got plans to, to to make a little bit of an increase to, uh, well, this particular unit. We'll see how it works out. Uh, let's see how this is going to work out for us. As long as this can tilt up these fields, then I'm happy. Okay, drop that in. Fire it up. Well, everything's running right now. It seems to be turning that all up. Let's go. I'm not expecting we're going to get a lot of speed off this. Let's be honest here. But uh, let's see if we can get our size right. I mean, we don't have a lot of room on this. Look at that. So we got four fields that are kind of like this. They kind of wrap down along. And there's some irrigation between all of them uh, that we could grab hay off of. Uh, they, it looks like they had planted all sorts of different stuff down here. So this was wheat. 
It looks like we got corn next to it, and I believe there was even a bean field just further towards that tree line down there. So that's what they had beforehand. I'm not sure if we're going to do the exact same thing yet. Uh, we're going to need, obviously need a little bit of corn. Probably We're probably going to be doing a lot of silage on here as well for those cows, guys. That's really all I'm going to be worried about for the time being. So we got lots of grasslands down here, at least, we can get our silage from. Now, we do have some silage equipment. We got some balers, of course, uh, bale wrappers. Yeah, it's going to be all bales down here. We'll probably do silage. I'm not going to be doing a silage pit, anything like that. Ah, we're going to keep it simple. I guess technically a silage pit would be simpler, wouldn't it? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Let's keep it. Let's stay away from that. We do need some mixers still, uh, but nothing too, too crazy. The Kubota seems to be doing this pretty all right. It's just going to take us uh, well, a hot minute here. I mean, it's a thin field. Let me Don't get me wrong, but uh, it's just a little bit of a, a trek here to get this all tilled up, guys. Get wraps all the way down. Oh, that's a ways away. That ah, looks like we're about halfway done now. I am. I decided, to, you know what? We were able to ramp this up a, a touch more. You know what? With that speedos in kilometers per hour. It's not. There's no way it's in miles. There is no way. Um, but I was able to get this up to, I want to say roughly like seven, eight miles per hour now. But the thing is, the front end is just a little bit loose on her. Now, when we lower the implement down, of course, that's forcing us into the ground. There we go. Lower it back down. Come on. Uh, so it forces us down, which is all right, but it's not enough still set our cruise back on so yeah I, I this is not thir what is that 10 miles an hour 12 13 miles an hour this is not much there's no way this is 13 miles an hour so uh that's kilometers for sure but anyways I, like i said i was I'm, I'm finding that she tends to get a little loose in the front end and even like coming down around that corner there you really gotta hold her you gotta hold her in place to keep everything in together otherwise um she just starts sliding around on you but other than that it seems to be how it I think we may have to use this um, with our bigger Kubota. I think we're going to have to do that. We'll, tell you what, we'll finish off this field. We'll finish off this here little field. We'll take that corn field next, what's left of that. And uh, we'll go grab the next, yeah, the big Kubota. And we'll get into that. That should help us out a little. I don't know, guys. I really don't. We'll see how she works. But uh, if we're stuck just using that one tractor, that could be a bit of an issue. It's just, we, I don't have the traction here. If we could get some more weight. I think it's a weight issue. Oh, yeah, look at that back tire is just a spinning back there trying to climb this little hill and you know what it's got the, it's got the power but she's just spinning around a little bit here there she goes it's got the power for sure it's just the traction and i can't find a way to get duels we oh, we have to look into that can we get duels on this if we had maybe a second set of tires maybe a, a weighted tire back here maybe that might fix our problem unfortunately no three-point hitch oh we have to get some way of slapping a three-point hitch on the front maybe get some weight up front that could be an option as well. Whoa, look at her slide. Look at her slide. Sliding for the carrot on the very edge there. There we go. Man, it's pretty nice down here. Look at like this distance down here, guys. Another farm just off in the distance there. I don't know what they got down there. We'll have to go take a look at some point. See what uh, what they got going on. But wow, looks pretty sweet. All right, let's turn this thing around. Nice and easy. If I, if I hit the gas too much, that front end just comes right off the ground. See, look at that. It's a little bit too much weight. We need to get a front weight for this thing. I think that might be what fixes all of our problems. I think that's all it would take would be a front weight up, up front there. And then that front tire will get traction. We'll be good to go. Oh, oh yeah. We're really getting a handle on this uh, this little Kubota. This thing is a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm having a blast with this thing. I tell you what, we'll get to the end. <laughs> this thing just absolutely rips when we spin her around. Just, she, yeah, she, she's a lot of fun. Yeah, if we put, if we put the pedal down right now. Um, like, look at these tires. I decided to see if we can, like, just ramp this thing right up. Oh, and when she grabs, all of a sudden, you're going pretty quick. But when, without grabbing, it just spins, and you're, you're not too bad. But watch this. When we get to the end here. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> like, look at this. Punch it, Bobby, punch it. It just, she just spins. Um, <laughs> that ain't bad, guys. That really ain't bad. I, I don't mind that. Uh, you could get around a field pretty quick with this thing. Not that I recommend doing what I do, but hey, you know what? It's it's all good. We're you know what? Fastest. We're the Kubota king. Fastest farmer with a, in a Kubota. I don't know yet. Well, let's go finish off this field. We got like one little last little bit, and then we'll go in there. You know, I'm gonna grab the other Kubota, and uh, we'll till that up. Maybe a little bit easier. This was. I don't want to say it was difficult, but it's uh, it doesn't need to be uh, road tilled over there. We don't need to get the we don't need to get the tiller over there. We'll just we'll just cultivate it underneath, and that should be fine. It's, it seems to have the power for it. Like I said, it just needs the weight. But right there, that bad boy there will probably be a little bit easier. It could probably actually handle this a lot better. Let me just park this in front of the, uh, the harvester for now. Yeah, like it. Not bad, guys. It's a, it's a fun unit. It's it's small but super super nimble. Now this bad boy, on the other hand, 
Um, the M135GX. This is a, a few more nanes. And yeah, well, it's got the front hitch on it as well. So we got a front PTO there. That could help us out. Well, what's going to help us out for mowing later on for sure. Let me jump on in. Let's fire this thing up. Uh, on, on, on. Everything fires up. All our screens. Let's see if I can fit through the doors or don't hit. Don't hit the garage door. Nice. We'll leave that one there. Let's head on over. We've got, um, what do we got over there? We've got, I know we've got, a, yeah, there's a cultivator right there. Let's grab that and then we'll take that down into the field and see how it all works out for us. This is obviously a little bit bigger, of course. So it should be, it should make it a little bit faster work for this whole job for us. Easy, easy, easy. Stop. Perfect. Hook that on up. Yeah, so this will unfold. I don't know what the width of this, maybe six meter, something along those lines. Um, it's going to be definitely be a pull for this, but uh, I think she can handle it. Let's hop back on inside. Let's get down to that field. Uh, this is some old, old corn here. Let's, uh, is it both sides? It is too. Okay, so it's on both sides of the road here. We need to go down that far side as well. And then down this side, it's kind of right through the middle of this, this range road here. This little, not range road, I guess this trail that kind of cuts through. Oh, look at this. I didn't even know that this went all the way through here. You sure you didn't know about this? You know, I'll start at the bottom. Let's go start at the very bottom. I want to see what's down in the valley here. This is this is cool. Yeah, let's let's till up. We got to do all these fields, guys. These are all ours, all the way down to this tree line. Uh, and I believe even that one down there is ours as well. Uh, looks like beans. So must be dried up beans. Weird. Anyways, we'll till this all up. We'll get rid of that. I, I think we've got one more field down below as well. Yeah, we can't even tell. I think that's ours. I think yeah, everything down to that tree line is my understanding was part of this farm. But anyways, let's get to work. Enough messing around. Drop this on in. Perfect. And away we go. And it goes. Oh, and uh, make sure we uh, we drive straight there. That's better. Straighten that on out. There we go. Nice. How's that looking? Looking pretty good. If I, if I didn't miss everything, that would be even better. Sweetness. All right. Kubota's in the field. We have a lot of orange on the uh, in the field here, guys. Not uh, not something you see a lot of. A lot of orange on your fields, that's for sure. Let's go all the way down to the end of that other farm down there. But uh, this is working out actually pretty good. Looks like we got another nice looking dairy farm right ahead of us. I didn't even go check it out, to be honest with you. We don't come out this way. We usually come in from, um, well, where our farm is back there. It'd come that way. I don't think I've been down this. I think there's a road right here, it looks like. It goes right out in front. I haven't even been down this area yet. We got to come check this out. But, uh, well, we're busy. We got stuff going on. Anyways, looks like a nice looking dairy right there. There's your house over in the left. You got, uh, looks like a cattle area out in front of this barn. Nice. I think, I think we may have them guys on size though. Just saying. Any cars coming? Nope, no cars. Okay, perfect. Right onto the road here. Stop. Perfect. Lift the sun up. Spin her around. You know what? Let's uh let's get a quick little headland done here so we're not on the road anymore. There we go. Now no worries about traffic. Definitely feels like it's it's maybe a bit of a weight issue with this tractor. Maybe a little bit more of having the duels in the back are helping us out, but uh like coming up this hill doesn't even seem to phase it, guys. Doesn't even phase it. We're uh look at that. Not bad at all. Now I'd like to try it with that uh that rotor tiller that uh <laughs> we'll see how it works out with that. Maybe it's got enough power for that where it actually sticks to the ground because that little Kubota just seems to, it seems to want to slide around a bit more, but this thing here, no problem at all. I am uh, mildly impressed with it so far. Spin this around, we'll finish off this little side and we'll head back on down. But looking pretty good, guys. This is uh, this is gonna work out just well. You know what, these little fields, like they're small, but it's gonna actually make life a little bit easier when it comes to harvesting. Like the harvester, which we'll talk about later on, it's not exactly, uh, it's not huge by any means, and it's it's gonna take a little bit of work. So having fields like this, I'm not complaining. Sweet, well, that's, uh, that's probably gonna do it for us today, guys. I'm gonna finish off plowing up these fields or tilling up these fields, cleaning things up and getting things ready. We'll be planting right away here because we need field, we need stuff in the ground. We need stuff in the ground and I need to, maybe we can do some, oh, bales. We gotta do some bales. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do, slap a like. Of course, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, if you're new around here so you don't miss anything going on, make sure you ring the bell while you're at it as well. And you know what? Maybe if you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit more, a little something a little fun, maybe check out uh, the video on some chicken nuggies. If you guys want to see some farm sim chicken nuggies, it's a great video on that. Go check that out. Anyways, guys, have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.